Uh, hello, I am Mo Duza. I am from Myanmar. What's life like in Burma under socialist rule? I guess there would be three aspects to it that I can try to recall. So, socialist Burma. I think politically, not much uh, was changed in the sense that the socialist government tried to emphasize continuity in the foreign policy it implemented, as well as the kind of international representation uh, that it wanted to have. Burma was still an active member of the non-aligned movement. And at the international uh, level, at, in the international arena, of course, uh, we had U Than, who was Secretary General at the United Nations. And that was still a moment of pride, a point of pride for, uh, for Burmese, uh, whether under socialist rule or not. Economically, I think, is where um, the impact would have been felt the most in the sense that uh, with socialist rule, there came nationalization of businesses. So there were no private enterprises. Uh, everything was state run, state owned, and there was a very strict central command. And that of course translated of course uh, into uh, the kind of commodities that the average man on the street would be able to have access to um, in terms of even basic um, commodities uh, for, for everyday use uh, from ranging from sugar to soap to candles and, and so on. Um, of course, the traditional markets were in operation and everything, but um, there, there were no supermarkets or convenience stores as would have been popping up or mushrooming in developing economies uh, all over the region, all the world. Uh, from the 1970s onwards. So um, socially, how did that uh, uh, affect people? Um, again, because of how the socialist economy ran, I think, um, people had basic commodities, but that was about it. And there, there wasn't that much choice uh, for, or, or a range of choice, I should say, uh, for selection. And for me, I think the, the thing that hit me the most um, coming back from Canberra to Rangoon and uh, I had been overseas uh, following my father's postings since the early 70s when I was all of two years old. So in 1971 when I was two uh, we were posted to Singapore and then from 1974 to 1977 from Singapore we were in Canberra. Uh, and so I grew up very much um, as any child in Singapore and later Australia would be growing up. Uh, you could walk to the neighborhood grocery store, uh, pick up your box of chocolates, pick up your chocolate bar with your weekly allowance. And uh, I guess having a cheese sandwich or yes, Vegemite on toast was a snack that you'd look forward to after school. Now that changed when we returned to Rangoon and uh, Kraft cheese and Cadbury chocolates became something that um, you just don't uh, walk to the grocery store to pick up, but something that you uh, try to buy back in bulk and then try to ration for as long as you can. The socialist economy meant that, of course, everything uh, had some kind of ration. And uh, there, there was, I think, um, a very clear difference between uh, what constituted a bit of a luxury as compared to what was an everyday necessity.